Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Ravella Design. Today I'm going to show you how we are going to make a triangle shawl with granny squares and granny triangles. I made a small part here in order to show you how we are going to make it. Actually, here the important thing for this kind of uh, shawl with granny squares, how to join uh, the squares in the right way. Here in this video tutorial, I am not going to share you how to make the squares and the triangles because I have separate video tutorials for the uh, for these squares and triangles and I will share the tutorial link on the right side of this video in the info section and also in the description box below. Here I am going to tell you very detailed how we are going to place them, how we are going to join them in order to get a perfect triangle shape. Here in this video I made a small part but of course you will make it bigger and bigger in the same way following my video tutorial step by step. You can make the shoulder shawl, winter shawl, whatever you like. This part I made with cotton yarn. When you make it with cotton yarn it will be a shawl with spring and fall season. But if you want to make it for um, winter season then you can make this shawl with uh, acrylic yarn, woolen yarn or uh, there are special uh, yarn for shells. You can use also this. But if you want to make a, a spring and fall shawl or if you want to use this in the cold days at night for summer, you can uh, make cotton yarn like me. Okay, dear friends, let's go on how to make this. Meanwhile, please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info bell and please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials. Thank you so much, dears. Let's go on how to make this. Depends on the size of the triangle shawl. You will need uh, many squares like this and also uh, you will need some triangles. For example, here there are 10 pieces of squares and uh, there are uh, five pieces of triangles in this project. For example, if you are going to make and if there will be 30 pieces of uh, squares like this, then you will need 15 pieces of triangles. And now I am going to explain you how we are going to place it, how we are going to join them to each other. Okay, dear friends, let's go on how to make this. Regarding how to make this uh, square and also this triangle, uh, in this video I am not going to explain you, uh, but I have another separate videos for both this one and also this one. And I will leave the link on the right side of the uh, info section in this video and also in the description box uh, in the below. So, uh, I will leave the links there. You can have a look at them. I uh, made the detailed videos for this square and also for the triangle. In this video, I am going to explain you how you are going to place it for a triangle shawl and how we are going to uh, join it uh, in a continuous way. Okay, dear friends, for this project, four pieces of squares side by side I am placing. Of course, this is for this small part. If you are going to make it very big, if you have another shawl already, you can uh, measure it and you can make the size uh, of your shawl according to that. This is four pieces. Of course, you can make it 10 pieces of round. If you make 10 pieces like this, it will be very big. If you have eight pieces, of course, it will be uh, bigger. But in this video, uh, I will show it on a small part. Like this, first of all, we are uh, placing the first round. And then regarding the second round, this is the edge of the shawl. I am putting another one beside the edge and beside this, I am putting another and putting another. The last one, I am not putting any square. Now, I am coming to this one, putting another one. Coming to the other, putting another one. 
and I am not putting anything beside the last uh, square of the previous. Always the last square of the previ uh, previous round, we are not putting any square. One round square always uh, decreasing as you see. Four, three, two, and here there will be one. We placed the squares, dear friends. Of course, for example, if the first round of yours with 10 squares, then this will be 9 square. This will be 8 square. This will be 7. Beside it, 6. Beside it, 5. Beside, 4. 3, 2, 1. It will go on like this. And you will have a triangle, very big triangle shape. I am just trying to explain you the mentality, how you are going to give a triangle shape with these squares. Always uh, you are going to decreasing one square. This is four. Your shell can be ten. Since I am, this is four, for the following I made three pieces of uh, squares. If your first round is with 10 squares, of course, this will be 9 at your shell. Since this is 3, the following is 2. And when placing, always we are uh, decreasing the uh, squares from the upper. From the edge, we are not uh, decreasing anything. As you see, from the uppers, always from the uppers, we are decreasing. After placing the squares, as I uh, explained to you, then we are going to fold these with triangles. Like this, dear friends. We are going to put triangles beside it. And also one to the end. One to the end of this one. Let me show you. Like this. As you see, it took it uh, completely a triangle shape. When we join these, uh, you will see we will have a perfect triangle shawl. As I told you, this is a small part, dear friends. In this mentality, uh, you will make your shawl bigger and bigger. In this video, it is not possible to show you a very big shawl. Uh, for this reason, I'm explaining you on a small part, but I hope I uh, explain the mentality very clearly. Okay. Now, let's go on how to join them. Okay, dear friends, now I am going to show you how we are going to join it. I am taking the square in the edge and three sides I am going to crochet with the main color of the neck warmer firstly. I am taking my yarn in my hand and I am starting in any corner. I am fixing the thread firstly, three chains, one, two, three. Actually, we are going to make the same how we made the last round. First of all, we are starting with half corner and for the half corner, after making three chains, we are making two double crochet. Like this, we made a block. Let me show you closely, like this. And making one chain, Going to the following space, making three double crochet. This is one, this is two, and this is three, like this. Making one chain, going to the following space, and making three more double crochet. One, two, and three. We are coming to the corner in this way, dear friends. I came to the corner between these blocks. I made one chain and now I am in the corner and in the corner I am making two chains. Yarn over, inserting my hook in the same a corner space and making three more double crochet. One, two and three making one chain, going to the following space, making three double crochet, one, two, and three. 
making one chain going to the following space making three more double crochet one two and three making one chain coming here making three more double crochet and like this we are uh, coming to the corner dear friends i came to the corner i made one block making two chains and making one block more this is one this is two and this is three yes dear friends we crocheted one side two sides and we are going to crochet in the same way how we made these two sides we are crocheting we are coming to this corner yes dear friends i crocheted three sides one two three now i am going to join this with the other square let me show you like this of course later on we can change the colors it's no matter whatever color you like you can change later on your mind can be changes when you arrange the colors okay now i crochet three sides of the square that is in the very edge of the triangle first of all this uh, place this round we are going to join to each other one by one of course i am taking this one but before this i will show you how we are going to join them to each other so i am taking the others uh, to the side i do not want to confuse you with the other squares i am on this uh, corner one two three sides i crocheted first of all making two chains one two yarn over taking my square i will insert my hook any corner space no matter which corner space you start and from front side i will insert my hook this is back side this is front from front to back i'm inserting my hook yarn over pull through i am going to make a double crochet in this corner of the second square yes like this i'm making a double crochet making another double crochet and making the third double crochet okay let me show you what we did it's been like this dear friends what we are going to do we are going to make uh, the last round of the second square and also at the same time we are going to join them to each other till upper now i will show you how we join and how we go upper and how we are going to make the last round of the second square i am putting them back to back dear friends now after making half corner on the second square i am going to the first one inserting my hook through the following space of the first square and making a single stitch yarn over coming to the following space of the second square you may remember normally when we made the blocks uh, we made one chain but when joining we are not making any chains in the side otherwise the joining places will be uh, very spacey with big holes i mean okay now i am uh, going to the following space of the first square making a single stitch let me show you look it's been like this now i am making yarn over coming to the following space of the second square and i am making three double crochet okay now i am going to the following space of the first uh, square and making a single stitch yarn over now i am coming to the following space of the second square and making three double crochet this is one 
this is 2 and this is 3. It's been like this. I am going to the following space like this, making a single stitch, coming to the corner, making three double crochet firstly, one, two, and three. Look, dear friends, each time I am showing you in order you can understand well like this. Now I am going to explain you how we joined the corners to each other. We made one block of the corner in advance. You know, um, we made, uh, you know, in the corners we make two chains, but when joining, first of all, we are making one chain and then coming to the corner space of the first square, yarn over, pull through, and now making one chain one chain before joining, one chain after joining, there are totally two. Yarn over, inserting my hook in the same space of this corner and making three double crochet. One, two, and three. Like this. Again, I will show you here what we did and what we are going to do. We joined these two squares to each other. We joined the corner. Now I am going to crochet this side and also this side. Later on, I am going to do the same thing. I mean, I will go back and I will join these two squares to each other and at the same time I am going to crochet the last uh, round of this uh, third square. First of all, let's crochet this side and also this side. Let's come to this corner. I crochet totally three sides of the second uh, square. This side, this is side one, side two, side three. Between the blocks I made one chain and in the corner space I made two chains. But when joining, we are not making any chains, you know. Now, we are going to join this uh, second square with the third one. Of course, we can change the places of the squares. That completely depends. Now, I made one block. I am making two chains. When starting joining, we are making two chains. One, two... What we are doing, taking this one and from the front side, first of all, making yarn over, uh, inserting our hook in any corner like this, for example, this is front side, front to back. I'm inserting my hook and I am making a double crochet. When starting, it is not important which uh, corner space you start, dear friends. We made one double crochet here. Now we are making second double crochet. We are making the third double crochet. What we did, let me show you. It's been like this. We made like this. Now I will go on joining uh, these two squares to each other. And when making this, at the same time, I will join the last round of the third square. When joining the sides, you know, we are not uh, making any chains. For this reason, I'm going to the square two, the following space of the square two, making a single stitch, yarn over, coming to the third square, inserting my hook, making three double crochet. This is double crochet one. This is double crochet two. And this is double crochet three. I am not making any chains. Going to the following space of the second square and making a single stitch. Let me show you. Look, it's been like this. Yarn over, coming to the following space and making three double crochet. One, two, 
and three. Okay. Now I am going to the following space of the second square, making a single stitch yarn over, coming to the following uh, space of this third square and making three double crochet. Okay. Going to the following space, making a single stitch yarn over, coming to the corner space, making three double crochet firstly one two and three now we are going to join the corners let me show you like this we are going to join the corners you will remember when we joined these corners we made two chains but here we are going to make one chain firstly then we are going to join and one chain later on after joining let me show you after making three double crochet making one chain inserting my hook through the corner space of the square two making a single stitch one chain yarn over coming to this uh, corner space making three double crochet this is double crochet one two and three let me show you it's been like this three squares are joined to each other now i am going to crochet this side this corner also this side i mean totally one two three sides i am going to crochet when crocheting don't uh, forget you are going to make one chains between the block you will remember when joining we didn't make any chains between the blocks but here and here uh, when we separately crocheting the sides we are making one chains between the blocks like this making three double crochet this is one this is two this is three and making one chain yarn over going to the following space and making three more double crochet like this I mean always between the blocks making one chain but when joining here we are not making any chains okay yes dear friends like this we crocheting this side and also this side and coming to this corner we are making one block at this corner yes i joined these three squares to each other i crocheted three sides of this last square i'm uh, in this corner i made one block let me show you dear friends if we remember our schema it's been like this there is only one square to join of course once again i will change the color dear friends I'm not going to explain you how we are going to join this to, uh, to the other because it is exactly the same how we joined these two squares to each other also these two squares to each other in the same way we are going to join the fourth square to the third one in the same way and after joining we will crochet this side and this side like this that we will be crocheting uh, three sides of the last square in the same way how we made how we crocheted and joined these squares we are doing the same thing for the fourth square let's join uh, the fourth square in the same way how i showed here and let's finish joining the fourth square yes dear friends as you see here I joined this part to this part now four pieces of squares joined to each other and I crocheted the last rounds of these uh, four squares only the outside only the fourth side of each square has not yet crocheted when I joined all the other squares and triangles I will crochet the last rounds yes now let me show you you see there is a triangle part at top now i am going to join this square to this triangle later on i will come here and 
I will go on crochet for, uh, this time from top to down. Okay, first of all, let me show you how I am going to join this square to this triangle. Yes, dear friends, as I informed you, I will join this side to this side. The shape of the triangle is important. It will stay like this. Okay, the second uh, side of this triangle will not be crocheted as these sides. Later on, I will crochet it. Now, this side to this side, I will join. First of all, you will remember when starting, we always make two chains. I'm making two chains. I am taking the triangle in my hand, inserting my hook through here. Be careful, this side will not be crocheted. This uh, right side will be crocheted. For one moment. First of all, I'm making yarn over, inserting my hook through the uh, corner space. First of all, I'm making three double crochet. One, two, and three. Let me show you what we did. It's been like this, dear friends. We made uh, one block of this corner. As you see, this is full corner, but we are not making full corner. As we made here in the other side, we are making only one block. Later on, I will go on joining these sides to each other and I will go on the last round of this triangle. The joining is the same how we made these squares. Like this, first of all, I am going to the space of the square, making a single stitch, yarn over, coming to this space and making three double crochet. One moment, like this. It is two, it is three, now I am inserting my hook through the following space of the square, like this, yarn over, coming to this space and making three double crochet. This is one, this is two, this is three, okay, going to this side single stitch yarn over coming here making three double crochet this is one this is two and this is three coming to this space making a single stitch yarn over now i am inserting my hook through the last space of this triangle and making three double crochet. This is one, this is two, this is three, and making one chain, inserting my hook through the corner space of the square, yarn over, pull through, making a single stitch. Let me show you what we did, okay? As you see, we joined perfectly this triangle to this square, and this side is not crocheted. When I finish joining all the parts, I will join all this uh, till the end. Okay, like this. Let me show you. Dear friends, I'm cutting the video here. Otherwise, the video will be very long. For the further steps, please go on watching my videos for part two and part three. Meanwhile, please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info bell, and please leave like remarks, make comments, and share my videos for my future video tutorials. Thank you so much, dears. Let's see in the part two.